Hi everyone and welcome to Saving with Jessica. Today is my very first cash stuffing on YouTube. I've been um, doing cash envelopes and sinking funds for the last couple of years, but I've never done it on YouTube. And this is going to be something new that I'm going to be starting on my channel. I'm With starting, I'm only going to be cash stuffing maybe once a month because right now my income is not the same that it used to be so i'm only going to be doing one cash stuffing and this is going to be my first one the next one will be next month and then hopefully i could cash stuff every week all right so what are sinking funds and what are cash envelopes so cash envelopes are categories that you add money to to basically fund your life and these are usually fixed amounts these categories usually consist of gas groceries spending etc Sinking funds are savings goals. These can be small or large financial goals. Um, it's saving a certain amount to reach that goal. Um, some sinking funds have an end date and some don't. You determine that with each of your categories. to start with my cash envelopes and I'm going to be stuffing for last week and for this week so I'm going to start with my spend and I should have let's see here so first things first these are my categories I have spend miscellaneous grocery takeout gas and home essentials I have saved but that's only if I um, spend any money and I get ones and fives that's for my one in five savings challenge um, giving and Gavin pay that's when my son does his chores and he gets paid and he hasn't been doing his chores but I'm still going to put money in there so in case when he does start he could get paid all right so we're gonna start with spend and spend is getting ten dollars
Next one is miscellaneous, and miscellaneous is also getting $10. Next is grocery, and grocery is getting $100. And grocery usually gets only $40. Uh, but again, I'm depositing for the past two weeks for this. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Um, for takeout, takeout is getting $10. Next one is gas, and gas is getting 50. So 40, 45, 50. Next is home essentials, and home is getting 10. Eventually, I'll get nicer envelopes but i'm just trying to utilize what i have so that i don't have to spend extra money um next save is um it's not getting anything because that's what i use my um dollar and five dollar savings challenge money goes in there um giving is getting 10 and gavin gavin is getting 12 so We'll do ten dollars in ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So giving gets ten, and my son is going to get twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's when he decides to work. So we'll see when he gets paid. But it doesn't look like anytime soon. We'll see. <laughs> all right. So my cash envelopes are all stuffed. So now I'm all set. So now we're going to go into my sinking funds. And my first sinking fund is fun. So fun is getting $10. And budget sheet, a tracker, so we have ten dollars in fun. Should probably keep the money so that I see the money in the front instead of the tracker. It looks better. All right, my next one is for gifts and birthdays, and this one is getting 20, so it's getting two tens. The next one is vacation. Don't look like I will be going on a vacation anytime soon, but I want to be prepared. Um, so this one is getting $10. So two fives. Next one is holidays, and this is for basically any holiday, um, excluding Christmas, because I have a savings challenge for Christmas, and including my anniversary. So it's basically every holiday, New Year's, Valentine's, St. Patrick's, Easter, my anniversary, Cinco de Mayo, um, Mother's Day, Memorial Day, Father's Day, July 4th, Labor Day, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and not Christmas. So this one is getting $120. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred and twenty. Just 
120, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. And that's for holidays. So we're off to a good start with this one. Next one is Beauty, and Beauty is going to get $305. So here is $100, 30, 60, 80, 200, 300, and 5. So here's 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 305. So $305 for Beauty. I've been saving up for Beauty for a while now, and I want to have a lot of money in here so that I could pamper myself. So we have $305 in here. Next one is for clothes and shoes for me. So with this one, it's getting $10. My next category is for online shopping. And this one is a digital cashless one. So I have the money um, in my bank account for this one. So this one has $10 so far. And that money is in my bank so I just keep track of the amount on this tracker the next one is for me and this is just for anything that I want for myself so this one's getting 10 so two fives Okay, so we're all done with this binder and we're going on to my next binder. So my next binder is the just in case one. And this one's going to be my emergency backup. So this one's getting $10. Next one is savings. So this is another emergency fund backup. And this one is getting $10. I like to have backups on backup. So there's never going to be an issue. So that's for my savings. So that's 10 And I'm going to try my best to not make this video so long too. But bear with me because this is my first cash stuffing. So until I have a routine, it's probably going to be long. Um, my next one is my emergency fund. So this one is in the bank and currently I have $14,005 for this one. So here's a $10,000 placeholder. So 10000 I did have 18000 but I had some emergencies. Um... In 2021, so I had I ended up using four thousand. So I'm trying to bring it back up to what I had it, what I had my emergency fund at. So right now I have fourteen. So here's ten thousand, eleven thousand, twelve thousand, thirteen thousand, fourteen thousand, and I'm adding another five. So my emergency fund currently has fourteen thousand and five dollars. So I'm not doing too bad. 
Um, I had it at 18. It's down to 14. I really would like to bring it up to 20, but um, we'll see. I think, honestly, it's, it's probably still kind of too high. Um, I'm working on figuring out the best amount for my emergency fund. Because, obviously, it seems like my emergencies end up being around 4000 or 5000 a year. So I'll probably end up bringing it back down bringing it down at a point at some point but right now I'll just keep it where it is so right now I'm at 14,500 I mean 14,005 dollars and then fire so right now I'm I'm trying to uh, well fire is financial independence retire early I would love to retire early so I've been you know making little taking steps towards that currently I'm starting a cash fire fund um i'll talk more about that another time but right now this fund i have i'm going to deposit 410 dollars towards that so here it is what is that ton? so this is the money let's say i were to retire this is the cash that i will live on until i get into my investments um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to live off of $410, but you guys get the idea. We have to start somewhere. So right now, I have $410. I'm actually going to be using this little box to put my money in. Um, once it reaches a certain amount, I'll be putting the money in the bank. But for now, this is what I'm going to use so that it keeps me um, motivated. And you know what? I haven't even tested this out to see if it's going to actually close and everything. Okay, I had to stop filming so that I can make sure I got the money in here. So I have the money in here. So that's $410 in my fire fund. And I'm just going to keep the tracker and the envelope. But, you know, even if I don't retire early, I definitely would like to, you know, um, put my best, forward, best foot forward and try to do this so that I have money when it's time for me to retire. Oh, I'm all set with this binder. Oh, and back to the fire fund. So what I really want to save at least $100,000 in cash for this. So that's what I'm aiming towards. All right. So my next binder is my son's binder. So my son's name is Gavin. And... So I'm going to put in $20 into his envelope. And every year I, well, every week I save $10 for him. And I've been doing this since he was born. So I deposit $520 into his bank account every year. And I save all his birthday money. I save all his Christmas money. Obviously, if he needed the money, I would use it. But we don't need the money so i've been saving that for him so that's going to be a good cushion for him um so when it's time for him to get a car uh, go to college all of that there's going to be money there for him so we're starting um his envelope with twenty dollars i was doing twenty dollars out in the beginning when he was first born but i thought that was too much um for my budget so i brought it down to 10 and that to me that's more um realistic for me so here we have twenty dollars in his um envelope the next one is going to be for camp so with this one he's getting 210 dollars 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 200 um, i'm not sure if he's going to camp this year but i want to be prepared if he does go so we have 210 so 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 210 so this is for summer camp. His next envelope is for school. So this is for anything for school, for school pictures, book fairs, um, any fundraisers, anything like that. And we're going to put in $35.00. So we'll put in 10, let's do fives, 10, 20, 30, 
Uh, do I have fives? One, two, three, four, five. All right. So this is going to have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 32, 34, 35. His next envelope is for clothes. So this is for anything for clothes, for shoes, for summer, and for when um, he goes back to school. And this one's starting with $105. $20, $30, $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000
for the next six months. Um, before I always just paid it monthly, but I've been really staying on top of that, putting my money aside every week, and it's so much better to do it like that. All right, and my next one for my car stuff is for my car registration, license, emissions, anything like that. And this one's going to start with $60. So $20, $40, $50, $60. My license is going to expire this year, so I'm going to need money for that. And that's probably going to be like $100. Emissions. Um, I think I'll do emissions this year. Um, my registration, I already did that this past year, so I don't have to do that in a while. So basically, this is going to be for my license. So here's $60 for this one. And now we're done with this binder and we're going on to the next binder. Okay, so now we're off to the next binder. So this one's for income tax. This is to do my income tax. So like if I do it with TurboTax, probably need like a hundred and I don't know, 100. I think I paid like 130 last year. So it'll probably be like 150 this year. So I'm going to start this one with $55. 50, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55 for income tax. <clears throat> My next one is my renter's insurance, and this one is cashless slash digital also, and I paid this one off for the year already, so I don't need to um, put any money aside for that for now up until February 18th, and I will be putting aside $2.08 per week for the year to get the $108, so right now I'm all set with that because that's paid. <clears throat> my next one is netflix and netflix is digital also and this one i have so far in the bank uh 88 dollars for this one <clears throat> the amount went up so before i would i wanted to save 115 dollars total but i gotta redo the math again to figure out what's going to be the new amount but so far i have 88 dollars for this one and that's in the bank. Next one is my Sirius XM. And I love my Sirius XM. Um, this one is digital slash cashless also. And I need $85 um, to complete this one. This is how much I pay for the year. And so far I have $42.64 in the bank for this one. And this one I think I put, I think it's like $1.15 aside every week so that I could um, get the $85. But don't don't mark my words for that because I'm not sure because I don't even have it written down. But it's only, it's cheap. It's under $2 a week for this. My next one is Copays. And I'm going to put in $10 for this one. So this is going to be for copays or any prescriptions for myself or my son. Next one is dentist and this one is digital and cashless also and I have in the bank one hundred and forty-five fifty for this one. This one, I'm going to put aside three dollars and fifty cents per week because I need two hundred dollars per year because it's one hundred per visit for uh per for a cleaning for myself. So right now I have one forty-five fifty. I had an appointment last week, but I was sick and I had to cancel it. So 
I will have to reschedule my appointment. So that'll be soon. Next one is for the eye doctor. And this one, I don't need the money until June of 2023 because I'm not going to go um, for another year because I just went and my eyes are great. So this one has $71. I'm only going to deposit $1 per week in this one. My next one is, my last one for this binder is for my blood work. Um, this is when I have my physical and the doctor orders blood work. So it's usually hundred and about $130. Um, right now I have $109.50 in the bank for this one. And I'm going to deposit $2.50 per week for this. All right, so we're all set with this one. And now we're on to my last binder, and this is my house down payment one. This is for my house one. I'm not getting a house anytime soon, but I'm going to prepare for that. So right now, this, this envelope is for my house down payment, and right now I have $10,000 in the bank for this. So there is my $10,000 placeholder and my tracker. So I have $10,000 in the bank right now for my house down payment. I want to have $20,000 in the bank for this. My next one is for closing costs. And this one I'm not going to put any money in. This week, I thought about this kind of late once I was doing my envelope, so I didn't put any money aside for this. So this one has zero right now, but I'll start putting money on the next video. <clears throat> my next one is for my house repairs emergency fund. And with this one, this one's going to get $10. My next one is for groceries. This is for moving groceries um, when we get the house so that we have money to fill up the house with food. So this one's getting $10. The next one is for the water bill. This is to help with the bill. So that's going to be $10 I'm putting. The next one is for electric. So this is for the electricity bill. This is going to help towards that bill. So $10 for this one. Next one is for any other bills for the house, and that's going to get $10 also. Next one is for new appliances, and this one's also going to get $10. Next one is going to be for decor. So this is for new home decor. So that's going to also get 10.
Next one is for mattress. So this is for new mattresses for the house. And the last one is for new furniture for the house. And this one's going to get $10 also. All right, now we're done with this binder. And I have $10 plus another five, so I have $15 extra. I knew I was gonna have some money extra. So I'm just gonna put that into my spend. So now I have five, 10, 15, 20, $25 in my spend. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.